Yes, please. Welcome back, guys. Uh, today, we're going to do a real quick edit um, of a photo I took recently. Uh, this is a couple that's getting married, and I had the pleasure of shooting their engagement. This was one of the shots that we did, and uh, I was really happy with it. This is the raw file right here. Uh, let's get some setup on this. 5D Mark II, 7200, like always. Um, I shot this at 250 ISO, 150 millimeters on the 7200 at 28 at 1 25th of a second. So uh, pretty much what we did is we went and found this cool little pasture with a bunch of light from the sun. This was about right around sunset, so the, the sun was pretty low. And uh, I didn't use any off-camera flash. This is all natural. However, uh, the light on them was bare bowl, or no, it was bare sun, and so it didn't look that good. And so I had my assistant. Unfortunately, I didn't have a, uh, a reflector or anything to diffuse the sun, so I found you know, I, I ripped off a diffuser off of one of my soft boxes that I was going to use, and I had my assistant hold it like this. <laughs> so as you can see, the sun's coming in and shooting right through this little white sheet, little diffusion panel, and it's creating this really soft, really, really soft light, and that's that's very it. It looked great. Uh, and so if you ever are in a pickle, get a go get a cheap reflector or uh, some diffusion panel or a white sheet or something, you know, you don't, you don't need something fancy. So what I want to do today is I want to tell you how you can make Vosco film presets. Uh, you don't have to buy them <laughs> and hopefully they'll never see this video because they might, uh, they might be mad that I'm blowing their secret, but um, their secret is all right here. It's all in the tone curves. They do custom tone curves for uh, for film filmish looks. And to be honest, I do not like more than a couple of the Vosco film presets. I think they're just they're not for me. So uh, this might not be for you either. And if it's not, then you can just skip this video and go on to the next. So let's get started. Um, this is the raw. Whoops. Oh boy. So this is the raw. And uh, let's just go ahead and get started on this. I, it's a little warm. Um, and so if we're going to make that film look, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to tone this down maybe. Maybe to somewhere around there. Uh, the magenta, it's fine where it's at. Exposure, probably going to put it up just a kiss. That's enough. I'm going to lose a lot of darks once I start doing stuff with tone curve down here. Contrast, I don't use contrast much, but I think I'm going to throw just a little bit in here. Uh, and that's that's looking good, okay. Highlights, because the light was closer, or the source was closer to his face, it's going to be more bright uh, and blown out. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and pull these highlights down. Let's see here. That's that's not looking. Let's try 35 for now. Shadows, I'm going to do probably around 25. That looks pretty good. And whites, I don't usually mess with whites, but we'll just do minus 5. Blacks, I'm going to throw probably a lot in there. Um Somewhere around there, that's good. Clarity, I'm going to throw just a little bit. 10. No, it's too much. We'll do 5. Vibrance. Uh, I might bring it down a little. I might bring it down a little more uh, later after we start messing with tone curves. Saturation, I'm not going to touch. So here, here's the trick, guys. Uh, this is on Lightroom 3, 4, and 5. Today I am on Lightroom 5, the beta. Uh, anybody can go download this. I'll go put a link in the bottom. Uh, and if, if you're watching this video when the beta is done and they're making you buy it, this still is going to apply to Lightroom 4, you know, 3, or even 5, of course. So it's, it's kind of irrelevant. Um, so here's the trick, guys. Tone curves. What you want to do, if your settings aren't on this already, is put it on linear. Um, and if this is clicked out like this, which most of the time I believe it is, go ahead and hide that. Um, by clicking this little button right here, click to edit point curve, okay? Uh, make sure we're an RGB color channel. And let's go ahead and make just uh, a couple dots on this. So just click on the line. 
Um, I'm just going to make a couple just so we can start stretching this. And I'm going to start with down here. And this is going to be the darks. And whoops. What you can see immediately is it kind of throws throws a, a hazy look into the shadows. Uh, and you can, you can kind of already tell where you're going to get that film look. So let's go ahead and keep grabbing these. And I'm going to pull it a little away from the line and just, just tell where I like it. Uh, I'm just going to pull that away just a smidge. Uh, and I'm liking that already. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, I'm going to probably take a couple, a little bit of the blacks out, maybe just bump my exposure up. Uh, no, I'm going to take some of this contrast out. And let's take some of these shadows just to kiss out. And that's pretty cool. Blacks, I'm going to throw a little more in. I know I just said I'm going to take them away. And that's looking good so far. Uh, let's go ahead and down here a little more now. Let's mess with the, the green, the green grass in the background. I really liked how that looked. So I'm going to grab the saturation of the green. I'm just going to throw it up. Not too much. That's pretty good. Let's grab the luminance. And that's just going to be the overall brightness of a certain color. So obviously you can see here it's grabbing green and it's blowing it out or it's bringing it down. And uh, you can do some cool looks if you're shooting raw, which... Uh, if you've been watching any of my videos, hopefully you're shooting raw by now. And if you're not, then shame on you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I really like what you can do with this. I, I kind of like it blown out a little, and I, I really like it uh, toned down. I think they both look really good for this shot, honestly. Uh, I think um, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with that. Uh, and that looks pretty good for me. I, I really like that. Sharpening, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at 25. That's the stock setting, I believe. If I sharpen it too much and then I go ahead and throw grain in it, it's going to it's gonna kind of be counterproductive and look a little odd. Um, so I'm going to leave the sharpening. Vignette, I might just do a smidge. And that's it. Just minus 10. Grain, I'm going to throw this up and just see what we get. Cool, yeah. No, that's too much. Too much. And that is good enough for me. I didn't want that much grain. Um, that, that's looking okay. I'm going to go back up to this tone curve, grab this lower part of the curve, and just bring it up just a smidge, just to where you can see it's getting a little more hazy underneath her chin and, and whatnot. And I'm liking that. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so for now, uh, I really like it. Again, there's too much light on his face and not as much on hers. Um, and her face is really, it's awesome. Uh, and so let's grab this brush and let's just do an exposure and maybe just kick it up just to kiss. And I'm just going to go around here. Uh, and in fact, I'm just going to do shadow. Shadow seems to not hurt as much. <laughs> it seems to just, you know, bump it up in the shadow areas that you really want. Not everywhere, even the blown out spots. And that looks pretty good to me. I like that. Um, so... Let's go ahead and look at what it was before. This is the raw. Um, and uh, here's what we just did. So you, what you can see is obviously uh, it's a lot, it's a little more dull. Uh, and that's any film preset you get uh, is going to look like that. And that's not to say that you have to make it dull. Of course, you know, this is probably a little more vibrant than usual. Uh, I mean, we could even go and grab the vibrance and throw it back up a little and actually I'm going to leave it at minus 10 that kind of just puts too much orange in their face but uh you could of course always warm up the photo throw more magenta in there um, I might even take some magenta out and give more of that greenish look that film has or some film photos don't quote me <laughs> and uh his face is still looking a little blown out um so let's go ahead and grab a brush and see if we can do anything about that Grab the highlights maybe, and not that much. I do like the shine on his face, so I'm going to leave that. That's good enough for me. So if I show you with the tone curve turned off, uh, this is what it's going to look like. Um, so it's still a great photo. I really like both. Uh, I like with it on and I like with it off. Uh, but this is kind of more of a demonstration to show you uh, that this is really how you make your film presets. Uh, if you if you want to get that filmish Vosco look uh, without paying a lot of dough, so 
Um, you could even take this a step further and go go nuts with this and then maybe throw a black and white. Um, and then, you know, just go nuts with this. And um, I mean, even that looks cool. Honestly, I, I like that already. Uh, and here's tone curve off again with that. And you can see it's just kind of bringing back all that detail on the darks and her hair and down here. Uh, but if we throw it back on, uh, it's kind of making it hazy. Of course, I'm losing her neck here, but uh, just for time's sake, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna brighten all this stuff up. So, guys, this is a real quick edit. I don't know how long that took, but hopefully, it wasn't too long. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate everybody's comments and views and all that jazz and Facebook likes and messages I've been getting. I really do appreciate it. You guys are the reason that I do this. So. Uh, go ahead and check out some of the old videos if you haven't already. Um, check out my website, davidjamesvisuals.com. And I post uh, all the regular videos, obviously, that are on my YouTube channel. And sometimes I post preset downloads for free. Uh, and for this one, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that for free. <laughs> and maybe I'll put a donate button there or something if you guys feel uh, like my time is worth it or, you know, something so I can pay my rent. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, I'll put some uh, presets for this black and white, even though it took me you know, two seconds to create. And of course, the, the color version that we just did before this. Uh, and uh, in the future, I'm going to be doing more videos, probably more out in the field. If you haven't seen, I posted one real quick, funny video uh, of me shooting off camera flash with just myself. Uh, and it's kind of, it's kind of a kick. Uh, it's kind of funny. So go watch that. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, go to my Facebook, like it, uh, do all of that fun jazz, and I will see you next time.